until like three days and then the following weekend I'm going to Tulum with the guys so the trip to uh, to Cabo is for my sister actually's 30th birthday so we head into the mall get some fits gotta get fly real quick you know and then today is my boy Lito's birthday so we gonna pick him up something from the mall too and then go out tonight probably dinner or maybe hit like a little lounge or something man we gotta celebrate the guy's birthday and then we gonna turn around and go to Tulum so just about to hit this mall find us something to wear do our little weekend man the weekend starting a little early so the good thing is that Mexico flight from here in Houston is only like two hours or whatever so cool should be a fun ass weekend man but keep y'all posted Hey Eric. Huh? I want to get an Ashley. Oh. Yes? But I want all white. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about white? Like, I should wait for the all white one. Like this specific one right here? Yeah, this specific one. Mm -hmm. But you see how there's all the gold in here? Yeah. This one already did. I put this to her. I think you should do all white. What's the price for this? The date that's right there? This one? Um, that one. Right Even something like that is dope. That top one. Yeah, I've been basically just wanting the things I can wear by themselves. What are you selling this one for? Things like this are different. Yeah, and then can I see the one in the other? So if I go, you got that one. I can make this one all white. There's just diamonds on the top. Yeah. They're not actually diamonds on the sides. Yeah. So it just needs to go. So it just needs to get polished at this point. It just needs to get polished and then uh, it's, it's still at my factory. You gotta I actually yeah. yeah. You know what's crazy? I was thinking about I'm like, I want to go away from all my cubes yesterday. Like the um, hard necklace I have, I wear that one. Then I don't know if you remember, but I bought like a bigger cuban from you. Yeah. And like, I'm like I want to go away because I want to stuff like that. You know. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a, I think I'm gonna just slowly start sending you the things that I want. Whatever you see, whatever you like, you let me know. And I'll just throw away from the few minutes. Alright, let's see if it's alright. 
Alright, you go. Alright, take care, guys. How we going? So we dropped off the jewelry to get clean. Here my guy Malik, man. Uh, the Gallo. Gotta go to Diamond X. We're just gonna find some quick fix. Hopefully we ain't trying to kill too much time in here. So <laughs> man, I know when people be going up, they be going to get Gucci, YSL. I might do a little bit of that, but for the most part, I'm a sorry junkie. Your name, Chris, bro? Yeah. How you doing, man? What's up, bro? Oh, yeah, what's your name? Brandon McLeese, man. Brandon? Yeah. Nice to meet you. You know, Brandon, thanks, bro. Can I take a picture with you? Yeah, hell yeah, let's get it. Yeah, man, yeah. It's dope, bro. Thank you. Let's just come here real quick. Yeah, I've been on the wall spot for a minute, bro. Oh, yeah? Cool, man. I appreciate your support, man. I know you learning something. For sure, bro. Yeah, I'm learning a lot, man. I'm learning a lot. Bought my first house with Stockton on Rockland or something. For real? Yeah. So you was trading the wall squad and you do that money to buy a house? Jack, back in 2021, bro. I don't know what mm, yeah, yeah, that's tough. And what city? Uh, Lancaster. It's like a South Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm from California. Yeah. I know. Okay, for sure. Lancaster. That's dope. Hey, yeah, you guys. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, no doubt. I was like, hey, Chris, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. 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 We got to get a good one. You got a phone? Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Get a good one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it's tough. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's come get on, it. come right, on. Make it. it quick, man. Let's go, dude. Make it right, quick, man. Make it quick, man. Yeah. Yes, last one. Last, last one, my boy. Last, last one. one. God damn. Oh, my God. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Kobe. Yeah. How many you take? Five? I think that's all I need for tonight. Oh God, bro. Five that was shots? That was, that was good enough. Man. That was five shots of tequila. Tequila. Mm. We, we just getting started. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, do you know he's giving it? Type shit, type what shit. What a night. What a night. Hey, hey, to, hey to be continued, man. Yeah, the yeah. story just getting started. 24. 2-4. <laughs>
everybody think they jump around. <laughs> that shit was, that shit was crazy. Let's get his face. Stop, niggas. Lido, Lido. You ass. <laughs> nah, that nigga. Yo. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. This What you gotta say about that, nigga? What y'all gotta say about Vic's performance? Yeah, there's... That nigga was hot. It's tenacious. Hey, 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 that's a hop. That's a hop. That's a hop. Hey, how much you dropping on that? I'm gonna let the game come to me, bro. I'm gonna take it away. Look at food. Eat up. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.
basically built it like in public so everything was public for the well squad while he was building it and then they got to see the release so they got to see him sourcing products building the website doing all that so people can build alongside with him and it's all documented in the well squad which is pretty dope so we're gonna sit down in the class man like uh i kind of you know want to know what kind of questions people have and kind of just pop in on a few classes that the providers have so i can make sure everything's going smooth maybe i can even learn something myself but um my brother eric he, um, he helped me build the watch company and then eventually I just gave him ownership of the watch company. So it started off as me building out the watch company. Then when he graduated from college, I held, uh, I hired him to to work. And then like he put, just put in so much work. I'm like, bro, we had to uh, renew the LLC, switch state. So I'm just like, bro, put yourself as 50% owner. So we got, um, you know, that, that company we run together. Then he's launched other brands and then he just did this this candle brand, which ended up being dope, man. The candle was a dope sale. Smelled real good. So, first day back off the trip, Cabo was so dope, man. So we just got a week. This weekend, I'm going out to Cancun with some of the guys. You'll see them at dinner, and it should be dope. So my thing is, I want to earn my vacation. So, the Tulum is this weekend, so I got all week to kind of grind, make sure I'm in the gym, make sure I'm putting in work, Make sure I'm studying, make sure I'm paying attention to the market, doing what I need to do to earn that weekend off, you know? So for a very long time, I was so locked in into grinding, into building, that I wasn't really rewarding myself, you know? I was just put my head down and I was just grinding for years. And now I'm starting to unwind, you know? Like, if you've been following me on social media for a few years, you see, like, I never used to go to dinner. I never used to go out. I never used to do any of that stuff. Cause I feel like I didn't deserve it in a way, you know what I mean? Not that everybody deserves to have a good time, but I was just like, what am I celebrating? It was more on that level, like, what am I saying? I don't have nothing to celebrate, you know? But um, since I moved out to Houston, man, I've kind of been enjoying it. I've been focused on my friendships, focused on being a good dad, focused on being, you know, a good member to the companies that I've owned and uh, just having a good time. But I want to make sure that when it's time to work, it's time to work. When it's time to play, we gonna get to it so i'm gonna hop in the shower pick out a fit and then but y'all can help me oh my cleaners um they rearranged my closet so let me give you all like a little update so we got the shoes over here boom got all the kicks a lot of these shoes i've never worn before and then what they did was they color coordinated for me so we got the whites over here we got the jackets down here and they kind of put them and this color coordination. I said in one of my videos that I had about 60 black tees. I was not lying. Like, black tees with the lower. Like, crazy. But, um, they hooked me up. For all my gun enthusiasts, I got the Drake right here. It's my bad. This uh, guard came off, but I'm bad boy. I'm gonna actually do a video on my gun collection. Uh, I know y'all know about my watch collection. I know y'all know about my car collection, but I got a gun collection too. So, you know, 
Uh, I'm a military dude. I love my guns. I'm a, a, a two-way dude. So I'll show you all the gun collection too. I got some here. I got some at the Vegas house. And then I got rules for myself. Like every time I buy a new house, I got to buy a new car. If I buy a new car, I got to buy a new gun. Sometimes I'll just go out and buy a new car. So then I got to get a new gun <laughs> car. So, uh, yeah, they organized this for me, man. They did a good job. And then there's the upstairs part of the closet, which I won't show y'all, but it's a two-story closet, which is pretty fly. But, um, yeah, this house, I hit one year being here, and uh, I love it, man. It really paid off. Like, just a few years ago, I was sharing an apartment with my brothers, you know, like, five deep in a three-bedroom because we were stacking up, you know? And I tell people this all the time, like, when I first started making $10,000 a month, month, which was in November of 2017, that was the first time I hit 10K in a month, my cost of living was $1,000, right? So I kept it at $1,000. So my brother and my cousin shared a room. My brother and my other cousin shared another room. I had my own room. The rent was like $1,700, $1,800 in Riverside, California. We split it up five ways. I paid a little bit more because I had my own room. And um, my room was like, or 85 or something like that so and i just kept in my mind like man i'm gonna keep putting my money back into my businesses i'm gonna put my money back into my companies instead of spending instead of upgrading getting a spot by myself getting a new car whatever i was driving a paid off car because i'm like working all day and then when i'm not working i ride my bike to the gym to work out and play basketball like it's almost the same exact thing that i do to this day just I got better toys now, but the, the method was the same, man. I'm keeping my cost of living low. I'm buying assets. I'm putting money back into the businesses to grow. And then it took me to get from November of 17 to November of 18, I went from 10,000 a month to like 100,000 a month. And then by November of 2021, I was like a million dollars a month. But this was just following the same philosophy of all my extra time and all my extra money has to go back into the things that I'm doing into my businesses, into my grinds, into my hustles, into all the little projects that I'm working on so I can just keep going to the next level. So the whole message behind this is don't celebrate too early, man. Sometimes, you know, when you get to that 10K a month thing, you gotta go get a new whip because you gotta prove that you make, even people just make six figures, you know what I mean? Like they gotta, oh, I make six figures. I gotta go buy the new S class. Oh, I need to go get me some jewelry. I need to stay down, man, stay down and just, Lay low, stack up, lay low, stack up, lay low, stack up. You'll know in your life when there's a time to celebrate, you know? And uh, when I say celebrate, I don't mean like, don't go live life. I'm just saying, you know, like enjoy your life, but keep the first things first because traveling, uh, buying cars, buying clothes, all that stuff, it's a different ball game when you actually, you know, locked in and making more money, you know? So don't celebrate too early, man. Keep your foot on the gas. But um, about to hop in the shower, like I said, and then uh, hop in the Wealth Squad videos, and then we had Joey Uptown tonight, Monday, fresh off of the uh, Cabo thing. Oh yeah, I sold some lift puts, to, I mean some lift calls. Um, we'll probably hit some charts tonight too, but keep y'all updated. Steak night. That's what I'm doing too, bro. Who? Bro, they got me beat. Nah. Yes. I know Chris is talking. You got a picture in Dubai? No, bro. I haven't seen any of it. I do a whiskey sour. Whiskey sour? Jack Daniels is cool. Yeah. Eric was on a balcony. Why did you? Uh, 
my sticker at the top. E, you're I really, you're I really. I'm gonna go ahead and bitch, bitch. Alright, nice. You're really in your position for back. Give him like a good massage or something, cause we gonna need him tomorrow. Oh, oh, bro, you can't. Oh, no, yeah. All right, y'all. We got a game night going at my crib. So what we got going on? So we gonna have type shit, type ping pong tournament. So we got the Cali dudes versus the Houston dudes. So we are gonna do it like East West. So we got the Cali dudes over here, and we got the Houston dudes over here, and we'll play for the championship. It's gonna be $500 for the winner. Hey, I'm calling you now. We first real. You gotta slap your name up like Art Madness. Who, what? Art Madness. Yeah. 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 Yeah.